If you are looking for a new gaming PC, whether it's a pre-built PC or a PC build, this video is going to be for you. And I will also show you the perfect monitor for each system and I will also show you the level of performance that you can expect for each PC. That way, even if you are a beginner to computers, you are able to understand what I'm saying. All the links to these pre-built PCs, PC builds and monitors will be down below in the video description with bonus PCs for every budget. That way, it doesn't matter if you have $500 or $3,000, you are going to get a system. So if your budget was not mentioned throughout this video, don't worry because you will have those bonus ones. With that being said, let's start. With the first PC build, we have one for around a thousand dollars, a thousand and thirty-six bucks to be exact. With the Ryzen 7 5700X for the CPU and the RX 7800XT for the GPU, this is a great CPU and GPU combo for 1440p high FPS gaming. For you to have an idea on the level of performance that you are getting here on a 15M average at 1440p resolution, high to ultra settings on high demanding titles as well, the 7800XT got an average of 108 FPS, which means that if you want to play easier to run games, you will be able to achieve more than 240 plus FPS on average, since the games that were tested here are really high demanding on high to ultra settings. Amazing CPU and GPU combo for around a thousand bucks. For the rest of the components, you get an aftermarket CPU cooler for the Ryzen 7 5700X to keep the noise levels down and also for a more quiet experience. Then for the motherboard, we have the MSI B550A Pro. This one has plenty of features for gaming and is going for just a hundred dollars. Then you get 16 gigs of DDR4 memory, which you can upgrade to 32 gigs if you want to do streaming and content creation. And that's going to cost you about 20 to 30 extra bucks but for gaming 16 gigs is going to be enough. Then you get a 1TB Gen 4 SSD which you can always upgrade if you need more storage because you have an extra slot on your motherboard for another M.2 SSD. Then for the case you get the Fantex Eclipse G300A with one pre-installed fan but I did add a pack of three fans for you to put in the front in the Thermal Ride TLC12C for just $14. And last but not least for the power supply you get the MSI Mag A750. This one is a 750 watt 80 plus gold power supply, A tier rated unit by the way, meaning that it's the best quality out there for just $80. So the total price for this PC is $1,036 when I'm recording this video, maybe when you're watching this it's a bit more expensive or a bit cheaper. The pre-built PC alternative is the Skytech Gaming Nebula from Amazon with the Ryzen 5 5600X and the RTX 4060 Ti for $1,000. You are going to be getting a slower gaming performance, about 20% slower performance, but you have to keep in mind that this is a pre-built and if you don't want to build it yourself, this one in my opinion is your best option, which is going to be capable of 1440p high settings as well with no issues, 60 plus FPS on average, but it's not going to be as great as the 7800XT for 1440p. And then my recommended monitor is the Gigabyte M27Q. This is a 27 inch 170 Hz 1440p monitor with a 0.5 millisecond of response time going for 260 bucks. Really good price for this monitor. I really like it and in my opinion it's the best one in terms of price to performance if you're going to be spending around a thousand dollars on your system. You can also buy a 1080p monitor to achieve higher frame rates especially if you are going with the pre-built PC. Jumping up the budget to $1,500, around $1,550 to be exact, you can get the Ryzen 7 7700 alongside the RX 7900 XT for a PC build. This will give you a 30% faster gaming experience on average than the 7800 XT mentioned before and you can also use it for 4K resolution if you want to upgrade down the line or if you want to buy a 4K monitor right now. On that same 15 game average I've mentioned before, the 7900 XT was able to average 140 FPS compared to the 108 FPS from the 7800 XT. And then at 4K, the 7900 XT got an average of 82 FPS, only 10 FPS on average behind the RTX 4080, which is an impressive 4K resolution GPU that's much more expensive. Amazing gaming performance for the price in my opinion. And since you get the Ryzen 7 7700, an 8 core processor that's very powerful, if you play high CPU demanding titles, you will be achieving high FPS. For the rest of the components, we get an aftermarket CPU cooler for our Ryzen 7 7700, then for the motherboard you get the Asrock B650M Pro RS motherboard, this one comes with Wi-Fi included. For the memory kit we have a 32 gigs of DDR5 memory kit, 6000 MHz CL30 timings which means that it's really fast and because you get 32 gigs of RAM instead of 16 gigs it's going to be better for content creation tasks, productivity work and also streaming. 
then you get one terabyte of gem 4 ssd once again the same case with those three fans i've mentioned before and the same msi power supply because it's going to be more than enough if you are looking for a pre-built pc then the skytech assure 2 in my opinion is your best option for 1510 dollars it's actually a bit cheaper than the pc build but here you get the ryzen 7 5700x and the amd rx 7800xt which is actually the same cpu and gpu combo as the first pc build so you're going to be getting about the same performance as that one but here you get 32 gigs of ram and a 360 only one liquid cooler so this pre-built pc is actually a slightly better than the first pc build and 50 $1,500 is actually a really good price for a pre-built PC at this level. Now, the monitor I recommend for this PC build and pre-built PC is the Omen 27QS. This is a 1440p 240Hz monitor, so high refresh rate, and in my opinion, this is the best one if you want better quality than 1080p, but you also want a high refresh rate and achieve high FPS. The best balance between quality and performance. The price is 430 bucks. I tested this monitor myself and I loved it. And you can also buy this monitor for the first system, but I did not recommend this monitor before because if you're going to spend a thousand dollars on a system, I highly doubt that you want to spend 430 bucks on a monitor. But if you are spending 1500 bucks, I think this monitor is the sweet spot for you. Keep in mind that if you're not going to be playing competitive titles, you can get away with a 1440p 144Hz monitor instead and save up some money. And with the best performance in this entire video, we have the $2,000 system. And don't worry if your budget is different, I will give you more options after this one. This one is 2047 bucks and you get the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, which is the fastest CPU on the market, alongside the RX 7900XTX. Really good CPU and GPU combo for 4K resolution. You can also use it for 1440p, but I do recommend it more for 4K. However, if you already have a 1440p monitor and you have about $2,000 to spend, just get this one and then upgrade the monitor down the line if you feel like it. On that same test I've mentioned before, on a 15 game average at 1440p, the RTX 4080 performs really similar to the 7900 XTX and it's able to average over 160 FPS, really high number considering its high demanding titles on ultra settings. And then at 4K, over 90 FPS, so you have no limits when it comes to this gaming PC in terms of gaming performance since you are getting a super high-end computer for gaming. Then for the rest of the components, you get a 240 all-in-one liquid cooler, which is not a must, you can get away with a cheaper cooler, but I think for the aesthetics, this one looks really good and then for the motherboard you get the gigabyte x670 gaming x atx am5 motherboard this one has plenty of features not only for gaming but also for content creation and productivity work then you get the same 32 gigs of ddr5 memory this time you get two terabytes of gen 4 ssd instead of one terabyte which is going to be helpful if you want to download a bunch of titles then for the case you get the deep cool ch560 i love this case it comes with four pre-installed fans you do not need to buy more fans the airflow is amazing and it looks very clean in my opinion. And last but not least, we have a 1000 watt 80 plus gold power supply that's A tier rated, really good quality. And even though you can get away with 850 watts for this build, a 1000 watts is going to be a better option, especially if you want to upgrade your GPU down the line to a GPU that's more power hungry like the RTX 4090. Then for a pre PC, for $2,000, you can get the Omen 40L with the i7 13700K and the RTX 4070 Ti. This one is going to perform similar to the last PC build, so great performance at 4K, but it is better for 1440p resolution. By the way, I have a full review testing this system for different games. I will leave that one in the top right of the screen in case you want a pre PC at this price point. And for the monitor, I have two options for you. The first one being the cheaper option for 450 bucks, the Gigabyte 27 inch 144 hertz monitor. Absolutely amazing. It's going on a 25% discount, really good discount for this monitor. And you're going to be getting amazing quality and also a high refresh rate experience. And then you have one that's more expensive for 630 bucks. It's essentially the same monitor, but it's a 32 inch monitor instead of a 28 inch one. And you also get a one millisecond of response time instead of two milliseconds of response time and then for the omen 40l the pre-built pc you can buy any of these monitors but i would recommend you buying the 27qs instead the 240 hertz 1440p monitor
monitor since you're going to be achieving higher FPS there and it's more suitable for the Omen 40L. As I said before, you have more options for different budgets, maybe you have more than $2,000 or less than $1,000, those alternatives will be down below in the video description. And if you need a more personal PC help, the first link in the description will be about my personal PC help where I help you out with your needs and budget and give you the perfect private PC or PC build made for you. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support and I will see you on the next one.